All right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone, and how are you doing today? Hopefully, you're doing well. I'm doing well. Today is Friday, July 15th, 2016. We are now officially halfway through the month of July. It's been an okay month so far. Let's talk a little bit about it, right? Uh, it's been a slow month. There's been no major game releases. None. And because of that, obviously things slow down. I was fully expecting this to happen this month. You know, when there's big AAA releases coming out, people want to come and check them out and see what I have to say about them and see me play them live and then also check out my reviews. This month has not happened. You know, there just haven't been any new releases uh, of any kind of high profile. And it looks to me like next month will be the polar opposite. There's at least four major games in the month of August, if not more than that, that will definitely get people excited. But for now, it is what it is, right? So I am kind of doing what I can. I'm playing games daily, and, you know, I'm happy for those of you who are coming and uh, checking out my stuff daily, even though it isn't the hottest new AAA release. Uh, you know, there, it's going to be a very busy end of the year this year. If you actually take a look at the game release schedule for some of the major high-profile releases coming out later this year, E3 really kind of blew it out of the water for games uh, coming up shortly in the next few months. And so the end of the year is probably going to explode with attention and lots of fun stuff. And I'm very happy about that. And I hope that you will, uh, you know, come, come on and check out the new stuff, obviously, when it's here. But... I would like to personally thank those of you who are here daily uh, to check out no matter what I'm playing. You know, no matter what game it is, no matter what I'm reviewing or covering, if I'm doing a rant, if I'm doing a reaction video. Those of you who come back to check it out no matter what, you are awesome. So I thank you very much for that, okay? Now this weekend in particular, I fully expect that FYI attendance on my live streams and such will be down. This is to be expected, if you're not aware, this is EVO weekend. Uh, it's the weekend when the National Fighting Game Tournament happens. And typically when that happens, most people who are watching live streams tend to watch the popular thing. And EVO seems to get a gr bunch of attention. I personally do not care about EVO. I've been out of the competitive tournament scene for quite some time. And I just don't give a damn about it. I don't. Especially with the top game being Street Fighter V. And in my opinion, it's one of the worst competitive Street Fighters in quite a long time for multiple reasons, you know, not just the fact that the game has eight, uh, eight frames of input delay making it impossible to react to things that normally you should be able to react to in a fighting game, but other balance issues as well. I'm not going to go into it on the stream here. Uh, I just think the game is pretty poor in regards to previous competitive Street Fighters and that people who are overhyping the game are doing so because, let's face it, if everyone just said, oh, well, Street Fighter V sucks, we don't want to play it, uh, no one would be watching EVO, no one would be watching any gameplay streams, all these people who all they do is play fighting games would basically be out of a job. So, they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna hype a crap game, they could do whatever they want, uh, but I'm gonna be doing my own thing. So, it's cool if, uh, you know, people are not around for this weekend, I totally get it. But I'll be doing my own thing, today I'm playing Fury, alright, tomorrow I'll be playing Overwatch for the first time in over two weeks. So that'll be fun. I'm very excited to play uh, Overwatch because I love the game. And a new character has been announced. So now would be a cool time to get a session in before the new character comes in and kind of mixes up the balance of the game. So that'll be tomorrow. Uh, Sunday I may be playing some Persona 3. We'll see, but I'm thinking that's probably going to be my stream on Sunday because I want to get one more major session in of the game before my time off coming up this week. Which we will talk about shortly, okay? Ah, all right. So, that's kind of the deal for this weekend. Now, tonight, I'm actually, this is kind of funny. Yesterday, I only played Fury because a game that I played earlier this week, Ghostbusters, was a total bust. And that's not a pun, it was just a piece of shit. And so I didn't even want to play it anymore. And a lot of people recommend that I play this game, Fury, which I did yesterday, and I'm going to do again today. And I actually really like it, even though it's incredibly rage-inducing... I actually really like the game. I think it's a really original premise. And uh, I'm going to be doing a review, or not really a review. Let me put, take that back, because I'm not going to beat the game today. 
Uh, but it's going to be more of like my impressions on the game for KO Gaming tonight. I think a lot of people don't know about this game and I kind of want to spread awareness of it because it's quite good. And it's also free on PS Plus for those who are PS Plus subscribers. So it's a no-brainer that everyone try this game out. <laughs> So, yeah, that'll be tonight on KO Gaming, a new video about Fury. I also want to say thank you to those of you who are checking out KO Gaming regularly. Uh, my review of Ghostbusters, which I did uh, Wednesday night, in one day got 10,000 views. And last that I checked it, it actually had like over 13,000. Now, I haven't checked it in the past couple of hours here. So, it may have gotten even higher than that. Let me take a look. Uh, nah, the page didn't update. I just checked KO Gaming and the page has not updated the view count in a couple hours. I don't know what it is because YouTube's supposed to be live. Like, view counts are supposed to update live. And then sometimes they still lock up. But yeah, pretty good. Pretty good for a game review for a piece of shit. And I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with the performance of the channel. So thank you to those of you who have checked out KO Gaming. Who are spreading the word about it. It is definitely worth my time to invest the amount of time that I'm putting into the channel, which is why I'm looking forward to doing another a video for tonight regarding Fury. Hopefully get some awareness out there of uh, a lesser-known game, right? So what else is going on? Uh, not much. I just told you about the weekend, my plans. Um, this coming week, starting on Monday, I'm taking some time off. You won't see me here live streaming uh, until Friday of this week coming up. So a full week... Well, not a full week, because I'll be streaming the next couple days. But, uh, the weekdays, I will not be streaming. Because I will be on a mini vacation. I say mini vacation because I actually live in Seattle. I just live on the outskirts of Seattle. Like, kind of a suburb. Um, and what I'm going to do is Leanna and I are going to go into the main city of Seattle to spend a few days together and do some tourism-style stuff. You know, we'll be hitting up all the landmarks that we saw years ago when we first visited this, this uh part of the country. We'll be doing some restauranting. We'll also be uh, checking out the aquarium, the zoo. We're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff in Seattle for a few days. So while we're out there, we're going to be vlogging. We're also going to try out Pokemon Go and see if it actually works in a city, which would be pretty cool, you know, doing Pokemon Go in a major city. Of course, we don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll just have to see, all right? Uh, but while we're doing that, I'll also be posting up on social media, and stuff like that. So it's going to be a fun few days. And something completely different from what I usually do. Now, FYI, just because I'm not going to be here live streaming doesn't mean there's not going to be new videos. In fact, there's going to be tons of new videos. I have now accumulated quite a lot of c content for you. Uh, that I will be uploading over the course of the week. Alright? So here's the deal. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, no live streams, but here's some of the videos that are going to be going live on DSP Gaming during the course of the week. First off, we've got Street Fighter V matches against both patrons of mine and against randoms. I had a day a couple weeks ago where I was playing Street Fighter V online, and I played both against a couple patrons of mine who definitely wanted to get a bunch of solid sessions in, but then a few random matches as well. So all of those will be uploaded. And that's always fun to see me play against random people online. Then, there'll be the conclusion of my Street Fighter V Ibuki matches. I, Ibuki was one of the two new characters in Street Fighter V a couple weeks ago. And I played a bunch of matches with her online. And I only uploaded the first half. So the second half of those matches will be going live. In addition, I also teamed up with a few patrons to play Rocket League. And we played about... 90 minutes or so of Rocket League gameplay. It was a lot of fun. It was crazy. Some of the matches were down to the wire. It was pretty wild, and, and I love that game, even though it is a silly game. It's a game that I'll probably go back to from time to time. Um, but anyway, I got those matchups that I never uploaded, so those will be uploaded during the week. And then, last night, Leanna and I actually did about two hours of co-op in Resident Evil 5 playing the Mercenaries mode. In fact, we played every single map except for one. I think we did, we, so it was like seven or eight videos, because I think there's like seven or eight maps in the game for Mercenaries. So yeah, we played each map, and basically we did a, a dry run where we would like kind of suck and die quickly. And then we did a second run where we tried to do our best. And it's funny, because some we actually got S ranks and stuff in some of the maps. We did pretty well. 
So, co-op gameplay with Liana on Resident Evil 5 will also be uploaded during the course of the week. And then, depending on how things go tomorrow with Overwatch, uh, I may have some excess Overwatch footage. It depends, because, you know, whenever I play Overwatch, uh, it all depends on how quickly I can find a party and how quickly I can find a match. Sometimes it's like this, really quick. And sometimes it takes a while, depending on, you know, who joins me and stuff. So, we'll see. I mean, if I let's say I get 20 matches of Overwatch in... During the stream, which I probably won't, it'll probably end up being more like 12 or so. I'll probably upload some tomorrow and then some during the week. So we'll see. I may end up having even more videos, excess videos, um, in order to upload. So, so I'll be in Seattle. I'll be doing tourism stuff. I'll be posting up on social media and I'll be uploading vlogs of my trip of Seattle to my vlogging channel, The King of Hate Vlogs, all week long. But... If you're not into that and you just want gameplay, DSP Gaming will have new gameplay every single day, even though I won't be live streaming. So there will be no downtime, technically. It's actually going to be a, a, an interesting time where there's double footage, gaming and vlogging. Uh, pretty crazy. Then when I return, I'll, I'll actually be returning from my time off on Friday. So for, it'll be Friday, July 22nd. And when I return, uh, basically... I'm going to be kind of resuming everything that I'm working on. So, for example, if I don't finish Fury today, there's a strong chance maybe I'll be playing Fury that day. Or maybe I'll be playing more Persona 3. Or we'll see what happened during the week. Because typically whenever I take a week off, something happens in gaming. A game drops out of nowhere or an expansion comes out of nowhere. So, whatever happens during the week, I'll be covering starting on Friday. And then the last week of the month will be... Trying to finish up Persona 3, I might be doing some major streams of it to try to finish the game up. Uh, and balance it out with other stuff, okay? Now, I do want to give everyone an update regarding an upcoming marathon. Because in the month of June, we, uh, we hit the funding goal for Patreon. Absolutely we did, which is really awesome. And because we hit the funding goal, it means we're going to be doing a marathon. And that marathon is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, and right now, patrons are voting on what Sonic marathon it will be. The choices were a classic Sonic 1 through 3 retro marathon, a Sonic Adventure marathon, or a Sonic 2006 marathon. Uh, I checked the results of the poll last night, and as of last night, the Sonic 06 marathon is beating the other two by 50%, meaning double the votes. <laughs> So unless there's a crazy rally from patrons who somehow haven't voted over the past week or so, it's looking like I'm going to be playing Sonic 2006. And I actually asked on Twitter last night, what is the best version of the game? And people resoundingly responded and said, you got to get it on Xbox 360. It's got a better frame rate. It's more stable. Apparently on PS3, the game has even more issues. And incidentally, the version of the game that I played in 2007 was the PS3 version. So, I guess I'll be playing it on Xbox 360. I'm going to have to order it because it's actually not available digitally anymore. Um, so, I'm going to be ordering it off of Amazon probably as soon as I get back from my time off. So, that way it'll actually arrive that final week of July and I can get started. Because I'm actually planning on either starting it late in that week of July. So, that last week of July I may actually do the marathon or maybe early August. It depends. And, here's the thing. If I play this game in a marathon setting and people actually enjoy it because it is known as one of the worst games ever made, I may do a full playthrough of it. I know that's crazy, <laughs> but I may actually consider doing a full playthrough of Sonic 06 if people really enjoy the marathon. Alright. <clears throat> so we'll see how it goes, and we'll go from there. But that could be a fun summertime thing, especially for the downtime right now. There's no new releases. See me play Sonic 06 for a few days, suffer through it, but actually complete it. Could be pretty crazy, right? All right. So, anything else to talk about? I'm trying to think. Really, honestly, I don't think there's too much else to talk about right now on pre-stream. Uh, I think I covered pretty much everything. All right. So what I think I'll do, let's go through our gratuitous plugs and then let's get started with Fury, shall we? I gotta resume where I left off yesterday, that angel boss whooped my ass. So, uh... Alright, hold on a second here. Oh! 
All right, folks. Thank you for being here live on the stream. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for four straight great months of, of performance of my business. It's been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping to keep it up over these summer months as we head into the busy end of the year. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very appreciative of your turning out every day to watch my live streams, to watch my on-demand content on YouTube, whether it's gameplay or vlogging or the new stuff on my KO Gaming channel. It's really awesome of you. Okay? Now, if you enjoy my daily gameplay my daily videos and the fact that everything is free and uh, i hope to keep it that way in the future <clears throat> and you want to see me continue to be successful and keep putting out this kind of stuff daily <clears throat> excuse me there are many ways that you can help and you can help uh you know su support my efforts first of all following me on twitter at they call me dsp uh, you know, social media is key to the success of a business in the modern era. I now understand that. I didn't really get that when I started on YouTube years and years ago. But absolutely, social media presence is key. If you follow me on Twitter, first of all, every night you're going to get a new update on my schedule for the next day. So you know exactly what to expect. Rather than only kind of getting a one brief thing once a week and then it changes every day. Because that's what used to happen. I used to do the week in preview. But then I had no real means to update anyone. Besides, like, random channel update videos. And half the time, people didn't know what was going on. Now, because I do a live, or a live, a nightly schedule update, people always are in the know on what to expect on my channels, which is a good thing. In addition, I also share all kinds of stuff about what I'm doing in, you know, pop culture and, and news and stuff like that. You know, last night I was watching some Dragon Ball movies and I was sharing that with people and tweeting about that. Um, when I go on vacation, like I said, this week coming up, I'll be showing things, all kinds of stuff that we're doing, tourism, maybe Pokemon Go, who knows? So please consider following me on social media. Please, if you see tweets that you enjoy, please like and retweet them. That is all key to a business's success, all right? Please check out my new gameplay, or my new gaming channel, KO Gaming, which you can find at youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. This channel is all highly edited content. It's not the raw stuff that you see here on DSP Gaming. It's reviews, it's countdowns, it's rants, it's that kind of stuff. And it's been very successful the past few months. One or two videos have actually gone pretty viral on YouTube and gotten some pretty great views. And, you know, even the ones that aren't really showing up too much in the YouTube search are doing pretty good. So I'm pleased with the performance of the channel. Please check it out and please spread the word if you like that channel. Word of mouth is key. Please check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darkside filled with your pledges. Your monthly pledges not only directly support my business and allow me to continue doing what I'm doing. Patreon is a huge chunk of my income now. So it's very important that I maintain this. <clears throat> but in addition, you get personal perks for pledging such as premium forum access, being able to vote on events, for example, the Sonic Marathon that I mentioned earlier. That's how you get access to voting on events like that. You could get a private Q&A video made. I just made one this past weekend about fighting games in my history at EVO and stuff like that. That was a really awesome video and the person really appreciated it. Uh, you could get your questions answered on my Q&A show, Ask the King. There's tons of great stuff you can get. So... Please check it out. And in addition, this month, ladies and gentlemen, this month's funding goal, just to show you, is the return of the Patron's Choice Marathon. If you don't know what that means, I've already done this three times before, and every single time I've done it, it's been successful. We've hit the funding goal for the month, and the patrons pledged and voted, and uh, nominated, excuse me, they pledged, then they nominated, then they voted, on a game that they wanted to see me play. The very first game last year was Minecraft, which totally opened my eyes to what the hell Minecraft was and changed my perspective completely on the game. Then there was Persona 4, which ended up being a fun multi-month playthrough that lasted like four months. And now there's Persona 3, which again, I've started in March and I'm still playing the damn game and I'm probably going to finish it by the end of July. So lots of fun ongoing playthroughs have happened directly as a result of this goal on Patreon. So I'm very excited to see what the patrons have in store for me for the next one. We just need to hit the funding goal. FYI, we certainly are not at the goal yet. When I checked this morning, I think we're around $200 below it, but that's fine. We've got 15 days left in the month. Uh, and you know, right now, not a lot of people are pledging simply because it's the middle of the month. People typically tend to pledge near the end of the month. Now keep in mind, the way that this works now 
is that as soon as you pledge, you get charged. So if you were a first-time pledgee, or if you're going to up your pledge for the month, you're going to get uh, processed. Your pr pledge will be processed immediately and apply to the monthly total. So the good thing is, this is eliminating all of those false pledges I used to get. I used to get tons of false pledges, so all month it would look like I've hit the goal when I hadn't. Right now, we can finally see realistically that I haven't hit the goal yet, which is actually a good thing. So please consider pledging by the end of the month if you want to contribute and hit the monthly goal and have an upcoming Patron's Choice playthrough. Sound good? I think it's good. I hope we do it again, and I hope it's a, it's a being a pretty epic playthrough like they've always been. All right. Of course, you can check out my vlogging channel, The King of Hate Vlogs, where I just told you you're going to see coverage of my upcoming trip uh, all week. So please check that out. And then last but not least, my girlfriend, Anna has her own business called The Black Current, where she sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts. Her soaps are glycerin-based, which are much better for your skin than most of these beauty bars or detergent bars that you end up buying in stores these days. Why do you think soap's so cheap? Because what they sell in stores actually isn't considered soap anymore, and it's not even good for your skin. The stuff she sells is very high-grade quality, custom scents that she orders and tests to find the best ones. And right now, she's in the middle of a really awesome summer line of product, including apricot and blueberry jam and tropical breeze, all these really awesome scents. She also has wax tart melts that are a great alternative to a candle to make your house smell great. There's no flame, so there's no risk. So, please check it out at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. If you check it out for yourself, you'll see she's got massive amounts of positive feedback. The wide variety of people from all around the world who have checked out her products pretty much love them. And she's got tons of repeat customers, but hey. It's a good idea for yourself, for a gift for a, a loved one or a relative or something. It's a really awesome thing, and she's been very successful. You know, over 500 items have been shipped worldwide in the past year and a half. She's been uh, active, so please check it out. All right? Does it sound good? I hope it does. That's it, everyone. That's the pre-stream. Let's get started with the continuation of fury let's see how it goes hopefully i don't suck too hard and i can progress <laughs> it's gonna be good to have have uh recovered a little bit before uh you know jumping back in but let's see how it goes